I'm Dr. Cyrus Mehta. I'm a cataract and refractive surgeon. I'm the guy you come to for robotic cataract surgery and laser vision correction. Over the course of nearly 23 years, I've performed about 35,000 surgeries and seen a quarter of a million patients. How do we make the entry point into the eye? In the olden days, we used a blade. And even though experienced surgeons, me included, could make a perfect tunnel after doing hundreds and thousands of procedures, the precision of a laser system is unmatchable. However well trained your hand, it cannot come close to the micron precision that a laser system will offer. One very important part of every cataract surgery is called a capsulorexis. This is a round or circular opening in the human lens that we create either with a forcep, a needle or in our case a laser system. When we used to use a forcep or a needle, we were well trained and we could easily make a pretty accurate opening in the center of the lens. However, once the laser system came along, we realized that a laser does this much more precisely. However accurately you try to draw a freehand circle, it's never going to be exactly the same as if you use a stencil. And we are aware of this. That's why a laser system is very much more accurate. The laser system also makes the opening in the human lens, which we use to remove the contents, so aspirate the contents, exactly in the center. And this exact centration, once again, cannot be matched by human hand. Capsulorexis or this circular opening in the human lens is also very important because the artificial lens that we implant will be implanted inside this capsular bag that we create. Basically, we are evacuating the contents of the human lens, leaving a shell intact. Think about a water pot in which an opening is up on the top and the contents are round. This is exactly how the human lens actually looks. Once we've made a very accurate capsular axis, it is much easier for the intraocular lens to center. There are many surgeons who feel that a manual capsular axis or a capsular axis done by hand will do the same job and partially I do agree with them, it will do the same job until the capsular bag starts to contract. If your capsular opening is even one or two millimeters decentered when you have done it manually, when the capsular bag contracts with time with the healing process in the eye, it can shift the center of the intraocular lens. Imagine how well you will see if your spectacles are decentered in front of your eye. This is what happens when an intraocular lens decenters. That's why we much prefer to use a laser system to create this capsular axis and then fragment the lens because we know that the laser system will do this perfectly in the center of the human lens.